As the coronavirus continues to spread across the globe, the pressure is on for drug makers to develop a vaccine and bring it to market quickly. Vaccines are preventative medicines. They help reduce the risk of catching certain illnesses. They do this by imitating infections. They introduce dead or weakened versions of the disease causing germs known as antigens into the immune system. When the immune system detects these foreign invaders, they create antibodies to attack them. And because our immune system is like a library, it stores information and remembers every germ it's ever defeated. So, if we encounter the real germ in the future, our immune system can quickly trigger the memory cells and produce antibodies to defeat it. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of time to develop, license, and release a new vaccine, ranging from several months to over 10 years. Once vaccines are developed in a lab, they must go through three phases before they come to market. First, small groups receive the trial vaccine. Then it's given to a larger group of people. And finally, it's tested on hundreds of thousands of people. Some experts say there's a 94% failure rate in developing a new vaccine from the discovery phase to licensing. The Food and Drug Administration will license it only if it's proven to be safe and effective and if the benefits outweigh the risks. But the vaccine might not be worth the effort. Many viruses mutate, so a vaccine that works one year might be less effective or not work at all the next. Today, there's no working vaccine for HIV, malaria, or tuberculosis. So these diseases continue to kill millions around the world each year. But vaccines have led to the eradication of smallpox, a drastic reduction in polio, and progress towards eliminating tetanus. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.